Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Gonzalez from Product Management Department of Noark Electric Europe. And today I would like to explain the distribution of residual current devices in our portfolio. RCDs are electrical safety devices which protect us from leakage current. Its usage is for protecting our buildings, equipment, and mainly to reduce the risk of serious injuries from electrical shock. Because these devices are sensitive and can also suffer from magnetization for electromagnetic types, it is necessary to test regularly using the test button. The main parameter in the distribution is according to the types of currents which the device can react to. Type AC is sensitive on residual AC currents with nominal power distribution frequency. It is the most used type, which covers the vast majority of general applications, used with heaters, boilers, lightning, etc. Type A is sensitive in residual AC currents and pulsating DC currents up to 6 mA. Is used in applications where pulsating DC currents can occur and in some countries is type A the minimal requirement on the installations. Used with dishwasher, LED lightnings, dryers, etc. Type B is suitable for AC pulsating and smooth DC currents up to 1 kHz. This type can be used almost for every application solution from photovoltaics, EV charger, elevators, motor drives, and so on. Another important parameter is the sensitivity of, of residual current over which RCD device will trip. It is separated into high sensitivity, mainly for life protection and medium sensitivity for building and machinery protection. As high sensitivity values we take 10 mA, uh, which usage is mainly in uh, hospitals, where uh, safety uh, is uh, the most mandatory. 30 mA. This value is the most used and can be found in every application. Electrical current is dangerous to our bodies, and 30 mA is the limit from which our body can suffer from heart fibrillation or arrest. As medium sensitivity values, we take 100 and 300 mA, which are used in buildings to protect us from fires. 500 mA value is used for protecting machinery. There can also be RCDs devices with delays, uh, which is called insensitivities to avoid unwanted trips or intrippings or use as selectivity. We provide two types of delays. First one is delay marked as G, which is delayed by 10 up to 300 milliseconds. And the second one is delay marked as S, which is delayed by 130 till 500 milliseconds and can be used as selectivity device. Now I will present you types and their specifications inside of our NOAR portfolio. As first, we have here our standard RCCB's EX9L. We provide them in 6 kA or 10 kA conditional short circuit strength up to nominal currents of 63 amps with AC or A type. We offer in 2 poles or 4 pole versions with or without delays on G or S types. Residual current sensitivity range is from 10 mA up to 500 mA. Another type is the EX9 LB63. It is B type RCCB based on electronic technology, which brings advantages of more accurate measurements of residual currents and, as a consequence, reduction of unwanted trips. Also, internally provides a simultaneously protection by a Type A voltage independent RCCB. Nominal current range is from 25 amps up to 63 amps in two poles and four pole versions, with sensitivity range for 30, 100, and 300 milliamps values of residual current. In our portfolio, you also can find RCBOs known as a residual current devices with overload protection. It's actually a combination of RCCB and MCB in one device. The ex 9 bl RCBO is provided with 6 kA or 10 kA braking capacities, up to 40 amps in 2 pulse version. You can find there AC or A type of RCCBs and B or C characteristics of MCB part. Residual current sensitivities are 30, 100 and 300 mA. The EX9 NL-N is a 4-pole version of RCBO and is offered with 6 kA braking capacity. Nominal current is also up to 40 amps with AC or A-type RCCB and B or C characteristics of MCB. Residual current sensitivities are 30 and 300 mA. Another type is the EX10 NLE. These RCBOs have only one module width, so they can save one modular space in enclosure in comparison to classical RCBO. They are based on electronic evaluation principle, more accurate measuring of residual current. These devices also do not suffer with magnetization of the tripping unit. They are provided in two pulse version with 6 kA braking capacities. Nominal current is up to 40 amps with AC or A type of RCCB and B or C characteristics of MCB. 
the residual current sensitivity is 30 mA. Our RCBOs are provided with several accessories from under voltage releases up to auxiliary contacts. For more information, please visit our website. The last RCD option in our portfolio is residual current add-on blocks EX9LE. They can be combined with our EX9B miniature circuit breakers to provide residual current protections. They are provided from two poles up to four poles uh, with uh, 63 amps so as nominal current with AC type of RCD. Residual current sensitivities are from 10 mA up to 300 mA. The last point is about the testing period. Our magnetic types RCCBs EX9L and EX9BL should be tested regularly with a period of one month. EX9NL-N and electronic types EX9LB63 and EX9NLA should be tested regularly but recommended is to test it every six months in fair environment and every month in heavy condition. Add-on blocks CX9 LR have recommended period of testing once per year. Anyway, please check your local regulations for further details about the regular testing of the RCDs. That will be all and uh, hope you like it. See you in the next one.